Hi, beautiful souls. How are you today? So my name is Lady Goddess and I am here to help you find peace and guidance. I'm hoping through my readings that you're able to heal, you're able to look at things from a positive perspective, and at the end of the day, you can actually have some insight into your particular situations. Now, I do want to say that all readings are general, so they may or may not resonate with you. Just take what does, leave the rest behind. If you're in a beautiful connection and the energy that I am telling you here does not seem to kind of fit, please don't make things fit where they just don't fit, okay? Also, follow me on Instagram. Yes, follow me on Instagram. Um, send me a DM. And hmm, within one week's time, I will be giving away $50 to one lucky person. Plus, I also love talking to each and every one of you. I thoroughly enjoy getting to know my audience and really developing relationships with as many people as possible. For every 100 people that follow me, I will give away $100, okay? I'm really wanting to grow my Instagram because before I never used it for anything having to do with Lady Goddess and I wanna start doing some things on there but I wanna grow enough of a fan base that I'm not just basically doing a reading for just maybe 10 or 20 of you, okay? So feel free to go over there, talk to me, get a chance to know me and it'll make me very, very happy. So today's title of the reading is, Will Your Person Take Action Towards You? Now this was a reading that was recommended to me by my lovely subscriber and also one of my very good friends and her name is Sophia, okay? So this was something that was recommended that I do today and I'm super excited to do this and you can see as well so is Mitty. And for those of you that don't know, that is my beautiful cat, Mitty, that loves to just bother me when I am filming. So I'm using the Angel Answers cards for piles one, two, and three. Just meditate on each and every one of these cards and that's the one that you will have your answer on what kind of action is your person going to take towards you. So if it's a yes, we're gonna find out why this person's gonna take action. And if it's a no, I'm also gonna give you a reason why this person may not be taking action at the current moment in time. But I really hope that by the end of this reading, you have clarity and insight in your particular situation and that you are able to really see things very, very clearly, okay? So piles one, two, and three. I will be using also the Island Time Wellness Oracle cards and the Light Sears Tarot. So that's what I'm using in this video today. Pick one, two, and three, and I'm gonna get started on this reading right now. Hello, my beautiful souls. So the title of this reading is, Will Your Person Take Action Towards You? So I'm hoping to really give you some answers and guidance that you are seeking today. And I wanna thank you once again for believing in me and for watching this reading. As always, this is a general reading, my loves, so it may or may not resonate with you. Just take what does, leave the rest behind. So I'm using three different decks today. The first deck is the Angel Answers Oracle cards. Then I'm also gonna be using Island Time Wellness and the Light Sears Tarot. So let's find out through this deck, is your person going to take action? I chose this deck because it has timing, it has clear yes or no answers, and it also sometimes will say something else from spirit that we might uh, be able to clarify a little bit more on and why maybe there's a delay in action or so on and so forth. So let's take a look for pile one. Okay, so spirit is saying 
will this person take action? You need to trust in this situation, okay? So there's trust that's involved here. Um, maybe at this current moment in time, things seem to be taking forever. And you're really honestly not sure in which direction things are going in, okay? So Spirit wants you to know that they are absolutely watching you, okay? They have your back in this situation. So I think this is an answer that is going to need clarification. But what I'm really sensing is you need to trust in the divine, okay? Because... Maybe sometimes we truly, truly want someone, but for some reason it doesn't work out. And we're like, why? Why are you doing this? Why are you blocking my abundance? But the thing is, is that if spirit has a plan for you that is far greater, you're not going to know about that plan, right? Because remember, spirit is all knowing. So maybe there's someone out there that you want to take action towards you. But there could be someone else around the corner that might be a hundred times better for you. You might find them to be more attractive. They might just be a nicer of a person. They might be emotionally available. And that's the thing. You don't know that. Or maybe spirits saying, just trust in the situation at hand. We're going to take a look and clarify a little further in which direction spirit is really telling you to go in but i do feel the main message here is trust so trust that you will have what you want at the end of the day trust that that divine partnership that you're seeking is coming to you whether it's coming to you in the form of the person that you are asking about or it's coming to you in the form of someone else you will have what you are seeking, okay? So I'm just gonna pull an Island Town Wellness and I want them to clarify this trust card a little further. And then we're gonna go into the tarot and see what basically spirit is talking about here, okay? So let's take a card for trust spirit. Let's clarify, please. See, spirit is saying to have trust. And why is that? Love, unconditional love, self-love, oneness, passion, affection, attraction. Have faith that love is coming to you. Have faith that that unconditional love that you are really seeking from a partner is on its way, okay? So it's on its way. And the thing is, and I can tell you, I am guilty of this myself. We want sometimes things so badly and we want it in the moment, but sometimes things have to happen. Same thing with physics, right? When you're solving equations, you can't just give an answer. Sometimes you can, but the professors always want to know, how is it that you surmise that this is the answer? How? What steps were necessary for you to prove this theory? Right? So that's the thing here. There's other steps that need to be taken along the way in order for this beautiful, unconditional love this beautiful affection, this oneness with your divine person, okay, is going to manifest and come to you. That's the thing. So that action will be taken towards you, okay? So that's why you really need to trust in this love. Trust in this unconditional love that is coming to you. Now, I do want to stress, if you're in a situation that is unhealthy, if you have not spoken to your person in several years, very long time, whatever is a long time for you, then please do not hold your life for that one person. Move forward. And if that person is meant to be in your life, they will come. If not, spirit will manifest someone for you 
that is of a vibrational match. So let's take a look at why Spirit is telling you to love and trust in this love, okay? Why are they telling you to have faith and will this person take action, okay? So let's take a look. For some of you, I do believe it's the person that you are um, wanting to come towards you. They will. For others, I believe it might be someone completely new that is coming your way. You just need to believe that that is what's going to happen. Okay, so let's take a look. Spirit, please clarify the trust card and love of what is coming towards power one, please. Spirit, please clarify the trust and love in what is coming towards power one. The, the star, wow. You are getting a divine counterpart coming to you. And of course, when we say the star, divine timing this is a beautiful message but it's one of frustration i know because you want the answers right now and spirit is basically telling you you can't have the answer at this moment you really have to wait until things just align for you but it will happen okay please clarify the trust please card for pile one spirit please verify the trust pile one and I do believe as well that this will be a very spiritual connection because purple to me is a very spiritual card. And you are definitely connected to the divine as depicted here in both of these cards as well. Okay, you have a very strong resonance with that. Now we have the Queen of Swords. So I believe that this is spirit saying that this is something that has been heavily on your mind. You've been really wanting this person to take action towards you. You've been manifesting this. You've been trying to work on yourself. You've been trying to heal. I think you've been cutting out things in your life that are no longer serving you. And you really just want um, some peace. Okay. You really do want some peace in your life. Okay, and you're going to great lengths, I feel, to get that. So I do believe that you, the viewer, you're thinking very clearly. You're in a very healthy spot as far as your mental state right now. Um, I do believe that a lot of you are trusting. I do believe that a lot of you have given this to the universe. I do believe that a lot of you are really working on your spiritual growth and your ascension. Okay, let's take another card for please clarify the trust spirit for pile one. Please clarify this for pile one. Oh, God. This reading is insane because it is so positive. I don't even know what to say. Will your person take action towards you? A resounding yes. Absolutely. With the sun, the sun is the most positive card in all of tarot. It is the hallelujah to the world. Your person might be taking some action for some, not all, possibly during Leo season because I'm a Leo and the sun is depicted of Leo season so that might be coming up for you quite soon for others it will happen in divine timing i do believe for a majority of you about 65 to 70 percent this will be the person that is on your mind okay the person that you are watching this video for i do believe yes they will be making and taking an action towards you why because you are heavily on their mind. You are someone that is a wish fulfillment. You are someone that they do admire. You're someone that they have hoped for. They do feel this spiritual connection with you. They feel that you're very warm. You're very generous. You're very enduring. You are just that kind of person that they truly, truly admire, okay? And they will come towards you. They do see that you are thinking very clearly. You might be my loves because the star is an Aquarius. 
um, energy and Queen of Swords is also an air sign. So Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, we also have Leo here with the sun. So you might have heavy air. You might also have some fire in your chart. Don't have to be. But this person does feel that you're very logical. You're very level-headed, grounded, um, very fair. You speak your truth. And truthfully, you are someone that makes them incredibly happy. Now, for a smaller percentage of you, I do believe you will have someone coming in. This will be, I believe, to be an air sign, but does not have to be. This is someone that regardless of whether you know them or not, you will have an incredible mental connection with this person. And this person really will bring you a lot of love and warmth. Okay? Lots of love, lots of warmth, lots of happiness, lots of peace. And really at the end of the day, you will get your wish fulfillment. Okay? So this is what the trust card is all about. And that is why spirit is telling you have faith because this beautiful outcome is coming, but you have to believe that it's coming. Okay. Because you don't want to manifest something negative within your environment. So beautiful reading for pile one. This is a yes. So if this reading resonated with you, please comment down below like share and subscribe when you're subscribing don't forget to hit the notification bell so you can be notified of when i go live and when i upload if you'd like a personal reading the information is in the description box below i do have a mystery offer for anyone that wants to get a personal reading hit me up and tell me you want a personal reading and i will give you anywhere between 10 to 50 percent off i'm going to raffle and I'm going to shake it and it's either going to be 10 to 50% off your reading. So that's going to be fun. Also, follow me on Instagram, loveoishelly8278. I really want to get a chance to know so many of you. I love my community. You guys are growing in an insane amount. And I really want to get a chance to get in touch with more of you. Because the more of you that I know, the more I can really kind of gear my pick of cards towards more what my audience is really looking for. I do talk to a lot of you. I am very communicative on my DMs, okay? I'm very active. I do want to start using my social media besides YouTube as another conduit to be able to offer you some readings. I might be also trying TikTok soon, although I hear that there's some stuff going on over there, but I really want to try to offer you a plethora of ways to get in touch with me okay so this was an absolutely beautiful reading i really wish you nothing but the best reach out to me if you have any suggestions or if you'd like to just talk to me i told you how you could do that earlier and also have a beautiful rest of your day and be safe and healthy okay bye my loves Hello, my beautiful souls. So the title of this reading is, Will Your Person Take Action Towards You? And before I get in, I do want to stress that this is a general reading, so it may or may not resonate with you. I am using three decks today. This is the Angel Answers deck, also the Island Time Wellness and the Light Sears Tarot decks as well and what i aim to do is i want to take a look with the angels answers deck because this deck does have clear yes no's it has time frames and see if your person will be taking the action towards you and then we're going to give an oracle card to explain what this card is here and we're going to go into the tarot and look a little further okay so by the end of this reading i'm hoping to give you some clarity and insight on your situation so that you could be a little bit more restful and have more peace of mind okay I will say that if you have not spoken to your person in such a long time if you're in an abusive relationship I in no way condone staying there I do not promote people staying in unhealthy situations or do I promote people being stuck for such long periods of time waiting for someone so what I'm trying to say is just keep moving forward, okay? 
If it's meant for you, it will come to you. If not, you will find someone that is so incredibly amazing that you'll be vibrating on the same level. So I want to get started on this reading and let's see first and foremost, will this person for pile two be taking action towards you? Okay, so there's going to be a compromise here. That's very interesting. Okay, so there needs to be some balance in this situation for sure. Um, I think that maybe the compromise is here is that we're going to look into the Oracle cards. Maybe just maybe you need to take action towards them. Okay, um, don't kill the messenger. I'm just saying that because there needs to be a balance here, we're asking, is this person going to take action towards you? But I do feel that there's some things that need to be worked out here before that can truly, truly happen. So let's take a look at the Island Time Wellness to clarify the compromise card, Spirit. So let's clarify this card here to find out, is this person going to be taking action for a pile two? What card comes out? Photograph. Okay. And we have here, looking at your photos, missing you, nostalgia, make new memories. Okay. So this person here is missing you. Okay. Very, very much so. They might be nostalgic. They might be thinking about you, possibly maybe wanting, um, a reconciliation and the reason why I feel spirit might be telling you there needs to be a compromise here is because maybe something happened between the two of you that was you know you guys could have had an argument you guys could have broken up you know I do believe is two to tango that maybe something happened and you both are guilty of it and in order for this person to truly want to come to you and take that action in your direction I'm feeling like you might have to somehow, some way compromise here or make some compromises in regards to that. So maybe you might need to be a little bit more receptive towards this person and tell them basically, hey, you know, I do want to come towards you. Okay. Um, or possibly you know what I am kind of opening up to let's maybe make amends let's see if we can reconcile our differences or hey you know what I know it's been a while but I am thinking of you too there is a reason that I said that I think you might have to bite the bullet and kind of go a little bit towards this person as well you don't have to go fully but you might have to open up a little bit so that this person knows it's safe to approach. Now, every situation here is a little different. So you might resonate with that statement and know what it is that I'm talking about. But I really do feel with this compromise here, you'll understand in some way what I am saying. Okay, so let's go into this a little bit further. And I want to please clarify the compromise card, Spirit. So please clarify this compromise card. What does this mean for my lovely pile twos? Okay, pile one also got this, the star. So there needs to be healing in this situation, okay? I'm reading this differently than pile one. So I feel for you... The both of you need to heal. Time might need to actually occur here and pass. So the situation kind of has a chance to balance itself out. There might be um, some air sign energy here because the star is an Aquarian energy. And I see the compromise card as Libra energy. So you might be heavy air, but you don't have to be or your person is. But I do feel that there needs to be some healing here. There really needs to be an energy where if you want this to happen, you're going to have to make the moves so it can happen kind of energy. I don't think that this person at the way this energy is that I'm reading is just going to come jump up and just be like, hey, I'm coming to you right now. 
I don't believe that's what's going to happen. What I think is going to happen here is that in order for the two of you to have that beginning where you can make new memories, you're going to need to be able to be more receptive, okay? And the both of you together are going to have to maybe come to a point where you're talking to each other in a way where you're not expecting this person to take a major action towards you, okay? Because I feel like this person wants to, but I also feel like you also need to take an action towards them as well. So let's please clarify some more of the compromise card. The Magician, okay? Again, spiritual energy, manifesting. I do believe, again here, that in order for this to happen, you're going to have to make the tools and make it happen in some way. Okay? So you're going to need to make some of this happen also. If you want this person to take a true action pile two towards you, you're going to have to make some sort of move or something that is going to let this person know again, hey, it's safe to come towards me. Hey, I am thinking about, you know, wanting to reconcile. Maybe if you're on social media um, and you do want this person to come towards you, maybe this would be an energy where you would kind of just maybe post something that you think this person would only understand and so on and so forth, okay? So I really feel that in some way here, you are also responsible for the action this person is going to take, okay? So if you want this person to take action, you're going to need to give them a sign, a hint, something um, to let them know that it's safe to approach. Otherwise, I feel like this is going to take longer, okay? And then we have the emperor and that is Aries energy. Now the emperor is a very, very stern energy. This is a person that doesn't really move, but he's so stuck in his ideal. So this person might be very stuck on their position. They might be that person that is like, listen, X, Y, Z happened here. I do want to reconnect with you, but I need an apology from you as well kind of deal here, okay? Or you know what, we're both guilty we both want this to happen. What can we do to make this work? That's the energy that I am feeling here. This person does not want to fully take action on their own because I do feel in some way for whatever happens in your particular situations, there's some responsibility that this person is also putting upon you as well. They're resting something on you, okay? They're kind of saying you're just as guilty as I am. And therefore, that is why I'm assuming and I'm picking up intuitively that this person would want you to really kind of open up the air a little bit, maybe give them a sign, a hint, anything that you really do want them to come towards you, okay? This is very important. I believe in this particular situation because this person is very nostalgic. This person is really missing you. This person does want you. This person does believe that there can be a great connection here. This person is manifesting you. They want this. They want to heal this connection. But I feel that the way they're picking this energy up and the way they're feeling deep in their heart is that they need something from you before this can truly start to happen okay so for this situation your person yes they want to take action they will take action but you need to open up the gates for this person maybe just slowly so they can take the action i don't believe this person is just going to totally make ac take action on their own without them kind of having a hint or some sort of suggestion from you that this is safe to do so, okay? This person needs to know in some way that you're just as interested still as they are. And I think if you give them that hint, then they're going to come towards you and take the action here. But otherwise, I think the two of you 
um, are just going to be at a standstill. But if you can get to that level with them, I do see a great compromise coming here because I do see the both of you wanting this and really do missing each other. Okay. So that is the, that is what is going on for pile two. So if this reading resonated with you, please comment down below, like, share, and subscribe. When you are subscribing, don't forget to hit the notification bell so you can be notified of when I go live and when I upload. If you would like a personal reading, send me an email. I have something very cool. For anyone that wants a personal reading, I will be offering anywhere between 10 to 50%. It's like a reveal the discount. I'm gonna spin my little thing that I have and I will tell you what the discount is, okay? Also, follow me on Instagram. I want to get a chance to know as many of you as possible. I'm very communicative on Instagram. I talk a lot to anyone that sends me a DM, okay? I'm always asking, how's your day? I'm always reaching out to people. And I really feel the more of you um, that communicate with me, the better I can be at giving you the kind of readings that you want because I'm gonna know more of my community, I'm gonna know more of what you guys are asking for and what you're really looking for as far as pick a cards and content on my channel. So it really helps grow this, you know, this channel. It will help grow our connection with each other. You might get a friend in me and it's just a win-win all the way around. Also, when you do follow me on Instagram, I do have a raffle going on at the till one week from now that people that are uh, following me, if you hit and send me a DM, you'll be in the raffle for $50. For every 100 people that subscribe, I will be giving away $100. I really want to grow my Instagram community and that's because I'm tr wanting to really open up that community and really offer you different kind of reading options in different places to go to than other than YouTube, okay? So I'm trying to do that as well. So I really hope that this reading gave you some clarity. I hope that at the end of the day, you understand things in your situation a little bit more clearly. And that again, if you need some clarification, don't hesitate, just reach out to me via um, Instagram and as well, I really hope that no matter where you are in this world, you're happy, you're safe, and that you do enjoy the rest of your day, okay? So beautiful love and light for all of you for Pile 2. Bye. Hi, my beautiful souls. So if you picked pile three, this is will your person take action towards you? So again, I want to stress that this is a general reading and it may or may not resonate with you. Please take what does and leave the rest behind. So we're asking today, is this person of yours going to take action towards you? Okay, I'm using three different decks today. This is the Angel Answers cards, also the Island Time Wellness and the Light Sears Tarot. So what I want to do is I'm going to give you an answer with this deck. This deck does have straight yes, no's. It has time frames. So it's a great Oracle deck to use for this particular reading. And then we're going to clarify with the Island Time Wellness, and then we're gonna go into the tarot. So, without further ado, before I begin, I also wanna say as well that um, please do not keep yourself stuck or in an unhealthy situation, okay? I don't condone that. So, even though I'm asking, will this person take action, if this is someone that you have not spoken to in a very, very long time, please do not stop living your life in hopes that you will have a reconnection with this person. If this person has been abusive to you in the past, please do yourself a justice and please walk away, okay? I don't wanna keep people stuck in unhealthy situations, do any kind of pick a card reading or keep people stuck waiting and waiting for years and years um, because there might be a promise 
of a reconnection with someone. Please do not do that to yourself. You owe yourself the beautiful love and abundance that you can get from being such a beautiful person and having a gorgeous divine love come to you, okay? So I just want to put that out there. So let's take a look um, for pile three of will your person take action towards you? Okay, so this card is saying choose a new direction. Now, when I see this card, this to me is basically telling me that spirit is saying you want this person to take action towards you, but spirit is saying mm, you might need to look in another direction. Okay, now I know this is very upsetting. I am going to tell you I am the first person to understand how it feels when you want someone to truly be with you. Okay, I have, I was actually in love with someone for quite some time and really I wanted them to be with me. Okay, I spoke to them every single day. Um, I told them how many times I loved them. I opened up to this person. I did everything that a person in love would do. And at the end of the day, this person chose to be with someone else. And it completely broke me as a person because I was wanting a future with this person. I was wanting to have a family with this person. So when I see this choose a new direction, I feel this is spirit saying, listen, okay, you know that you deserve more. Okay. Now at the time I wasn't aware of this because this person didn't really have anyone significant. We were kind of like an item together thing here. But once they shot, decided to go with someone else, it's unhealthy for me to sit around and to really want this other person as though, again, I'm very guilty because I did want this person still in my life. I still wanted to be with them. But that means that I'm not going to stop living my life. And when I stopped waiting for this person, um, I found out that I actually can be attracted to other people. And I did find someone to actually bring some happiness or a smile at least to my day. And then I said to myself, if I can go on a date with another man and he can make me feel excited to be on that date then that tells me then I can and I will be able to find someone else so sometimes we put such fantasies on other people because we assume that they're the only people in this world that we'll ever love and that might be the case for some but it's not the case for everyone okay we can have several life partners we can have several soulmates we don't always have to be with that one person. Now, I know for those of you that are sitting there wanting this person, loving them, fantasizing, obsessing, I know I've been there. I know what it's like um, to really, really want to have something happen. Okay? So what Spirit is advising is, is that maybe... You should choose yourself first in this situation and go into a different direction. It doesn't mean that you have to stop loving this person. It doesn't mean that you completely close the door. It just means that you choose you, okay? Because I think for now, this person is not a good fit for you, okay? There is not going to be that light at the end of the tunnel at this moment. Does it mean complete future no remember we're reading tarot we're not reading a whole lifespan so in the immediate future i do feel you need to choose another path here so i want to clarify that with this deck here the island time wellness for choose a new direction spirit can you please clarify for pile three
paradise. Happiness, expansion, joy, playfulness, oneness, enjoying each other. Anytime you hear the sirens, they say that's Archangel Michael coming in. So I do feel if you choose a new direction, you will get happiness, okay? You will have someone that will give you joy. You will have that oneness and you will find someone that you can enjoy, that you guys will have a beautiful connection and a rapport with one another. You are going to have that light at the end of the tunnel. And that is why I believe that spirit is advising you um, to go into another direction. Okay. So you will have that happiness. You will have what you're looking for, but it might not be in the way that you want it or with the person that you want it right now. Okay. But that doesn't mean that you're not going to have happiness. Sometimes, okay, you, like again, at the beginning of the reading, you might be so like, no, my future is with X, Y, and Z, and I refuse to admit or accept that there's going to be anyone else in my future. And guess what happens? You meet someone else. And then that someone else is now occupying your mind, and you're like, well, hold up a minute here. I am now thinking about them, like, wait a minute, am I getting over this person? I do believe this is what's going to happen here, okay? So Spirit is advising you to go into another path, another path that's going to leave you happiness, it's going to make you just be joyful, you might go on vacation with this new person, I think this is a new person coming, so I think that this other person is not going to take action, and if they do, they're advising against this connection at this moment in time. They're steering you away from that, okay? So let's go a little further and let's clarify the choose a new direction from spirit, please. The lovers, oh my God, beautiful energy. We have six soulmate, Gemini energy here. So I do believe for a lot of you, Spirit's saying choose a new direction because a new soulmate is coming in, okay? So this person that you're watching the reading initially for, yes, they might come towards you, but you're not going to want that offer because there's an amazing person coming your way. This person is going to accept you for who you are. This person will love you even if there's differences, age differences, cultural differences, race differences, it doesn't matter. This will be a true, genuine feeling coming from this person. You will be feeling that oneness that you feel when you are with your true person, okay? You will be feeling that beautiful, beautiful, beautiful energy that are, is basically embraced by true love. So spirit wants to give you a great experience, but it's only going to happen if you start making an effort to look in another place, okay? Let's clarify a little bit more of this choose a new direction, please. The hermit. Very spiritual energies, the lovers and the hermits. So you might have either a Gemini, possible Virgo coming your way. Um, the love, I'm not even gonna talk about the number combination there, but um, what I will say is that it's time to do some soul searching. It's time to really decide, guys, what is it that you want? What is it that is going to make you happy at the end of the day? Is it going to be this connection? Because I don't think it's this connection that you're in now. I believe you're really already at that point where you know this. You're just watching this video to see if this person is just going to truly, really come towards you. And the honest answer is they may. They may come towards you, but they're not going to give you that beautiful happiness that you are really seeking. And you really need to take the time to go in for yourself to really sit there and think about what is it that you want? What is it that's going to make you happy? What is it that you really are going to want to be in rejoice over? right? What qualities am I looking for in a person? What qualities, um, if I get a person, um, don't I want in them? Okay. So I do feel that you are going to be at a point where you're going to be going within 
and you're going to really start to manifest that beautiful energy that you've been wanting for quite some time, okay? So I feel there will be someone taking action towards you, but it's not going to be this person that you're watching this video for. Your reading has a twist for pile three. Pile three, please. Can we please clarify the Choose New Direction Spirit? The high, wow, very spiritual energy, the high priestess. Okay. Very spiritual energy. So high priestess, wow, very, very, very strong energy. This is Piscean energy here. So this is, again, very spiritual. Okay. Extremely, extremely spiritual. I believe this is Pisces. Is this Pisces, the high priestess? Now I need to look this up. I believe this is Pisces. It's either Pisces or Cancer, but I think it's Pisces. I just want to make sure. Okay, so you want to know what's so crazy, my loves, is that so many different sites couldn't decide what the high priestess is. That is insane. Most of the sites says this is ruled by the moon, which is Cancering energy. So I was feeling Pisces, Cancerian energy here because very, very intuitive energy. One site said Virgo. I'm not sure about Virgo ruling the high priestess because the high priestess to me is more of um, an intuitive card. So we'll go with Cancer. Um, if you can say something else, then let me know down below in the comments. But that is crazy that so many different sites couldn't figure out what that was. So I feel... What this is saying overall is that there is an all-knowing um, the universe has for you that you just aren't aware yet, okay? Because the high priestess is the keeper of secrets. So again, you're not aware, you're not aware fully that there is something far greater for you outside this realm of this connection that you are really... Um, seeking at this current moment in time. I do feel that once you go within, you will have that energy to want to open up those doors, to want to be receptive to a new connection. And I think at the end of the day, you will be very, very successful in doing so, okay? So spirit telling you to choose a new direction simply means to choose a direction of loving yourself, Putting yourself first. Don't wait for this person to take action towards you because I feel that once you start going within, once you start loving yourself, you might really start to notice that, you know what? Hey, this person is not bringing me my happiness. There is a true divine happiness for me. It just doesn't lie within this person. This person is not basically giving me that feeling of happiness, of expansion, of joy, of wanting to feel that wholeness and oneness. Am I feeling that sense with this person? Do I feel that there is growth potential with this person? Okay. And I think for a lot of you here, you need to hear the ice cream truck because this is to me indicating that there needs to be some joy and some beautiful lighthearted energy brought back into your life. This energy here that you're originally asking for, I think is very heavy and it's been weighing you down for a very long time. So will this person take action towards you? I don't believe they're going to. I believe you're going to have someone new. You're just not aware of it yet with the high priestess. And this person is going to bring you your ultimate wish fulfillment, okay? If this other person that you're watching this video for does take action towards you, I believe it's going to lead into disappointment. That is why Spirit is basically recommending that you do choose a new direction because at the end of the day, Spirit doesn't want you to be sad. Spirit doesn't want you to hurt. Spirit doesn't want you to really be in that energy where you're not sure about the future. You should never be in a connection where the future feels uncertain. When you're with the right person, that energy is clear. You know what you want. You know where you stand with this person. And sometimes, yes, messages or words can get crossed 
sometimes there can be some confusion, but not to the point where you're so confused that you don't even have a clue as to which way the wind is blowing here. And I don't want that for you. I don't want you to sit home and wonder about your love life, wonder about what you're missing. What you're missing is the love within yourself, the love that you need in order to grow to be that person that will be able to be a loving, stable partner, that person that will feel that beautiful oneness and expansion with someone that truly, truly loves them because you are totally and absolutely worth all of that beautiful, beautiful energy. And please don't ever forget that, okay? So that is your reading for pile three. So if this reading resonated with you, please comment down below, like, share, and subscribe. When you're subscribing, please hit the notification bell so you can be notified of when I go live and when I upload. And if you'd like a personal reading, I have something fun for you. Send me an email and you're going to get anywhere between 10 to 50% off your reading. I'm going to actually roll a die here and we will see what the die comes up with. Okay. So that's fun. And also follow me on Instagram. I love talking to as many of you as possible. Send me a DM, get a chance to know who I am. Um, for everyone that does that, you'll be entered into a raffle by the end of next week. I will be giving someone $50 by every time I get a hundred new people that follow me on Instagram, I will give away $100. I'm growing my Instagram because I want to be able to do things on that channel as well. Plus, not only that, it also gives me a chance to get to know more of you. And the more of you that I know, the more I can be aware of the content that you guys really want to see from me. It helps me build my channel to be more custom geared towards my audience. And that's what I want. I want to make you happy. I want to be able to give you the guidance that most of you are seeking, but I won't know that until I get a chance to know who my God, you know, who my audience really is and what is it that you guys really want from this channel. So I really hope that this reading gave you clarity. I really do love each and every one of you. And I hope that you all have a beautiful and blessed day. Love and light. Bye, guys.